All right, we're back at the police station. Pull on double. Lovely. Thanks, Keith. Anyway, let's make a quick rush and put our duds on. And of course, the usual. Grabbing keys. Grab my police radio. And grab the stuff in a, uh, my locker room. The locker room. Notice there is no female locker room, and if there is one, it's uh, off screen. That changed in Police Quest 3. In Police Quest 4, they got rid of the locker rooms altogether. But Police Quest 4 was another uh, thing altogether. And, as always, time to shower. Because of regulations, doesn't matter how late I am, you always gotta be smelled clean and fresh as a police officer. This message was brought to you by Stinko Be God. Stinko Be God, you want to smell great, so don't stink. And I still haven't taken uh, home the uh, towel. Sonny Bonds is not a man who does the laundry. The laundry does him. And now it's time to report to Dooley's office. Of course. Or was it the meeting room? Nope. Off to the meeting room. That Dooley, how do you teleport? You were in your office. <sighs> Anyways, um, as always, save your game. We'll call him, uh, oh, a little lag on the uh, tagging there, Dooley How. Well, time to look for Jose Martinez, maybe. Uh oh, he's a dangerous one. And Dooley is very exaggerated with his arms and legs movements. You tell him, Dooley. Now go eat some more donuts in your office. Still asleep. I just woke up. Hey, handwritten note. How about eleven 
98. It carols later. And shift. Steve. Oh, okay. Steve is awesome. He's a pretty cool dude. Oh, I want to be the one giving the briefing. But anyways. It's time to head out once again on the beautiful streets of Lighten. Because after all, well... Remember, bonus points if you walk around this car. I should perform a full walk around. I mean, you're fortunate enough that you will never get a flat tire because you didn't do your walk around. Although it probably gives you uh, only the points once. So once again, off to the mean streets. But slightly different music this time. So let's head towards the west side of town. Because, well, uh, no reason. Got your lights on. Yep, we have a domestic disturbance at the corner of Lily and Perth. Time to investigate. That didn't take long. Alright, let's slow down a little bit. Make sure I turn the right way. It was a stolen Mercedes. He's found on Oak Street. Beautiful sound effects, by the way. Let me take a quick look here on my map. I think I bugged the game possibly because those two events are not supposed to happen at the same time. a silver Mercedes. I thought it was a black Mercedes. But let's go ahead and head on over there anyway. Yep, that's the other problem with this game. Uh, you can't even see which street you're heading towards until you dedicate yourself to whether you're turning, going straight are stopping. Stopping would be a good idea, but we're not here to stop. We're here to jazz. I mean, catch some crooks. Okay. We're on Oak Street. And hopefully we'll get this bad guy.
Well, there he is. Now let's accelerate and get that some beach. It could be a dangerous situation. So, I am definitely gonna save the game right out of sight of Sin City. XXX rated. We call it C in City XXX. Time to break some arms and legs. Now let's see if I can do this without dying. Four X's. Let's make it extra dangerous. First of all, call in. Take a look at the situation. And that is a dead cop. And the skull turns to me. Well, Rip. That may have not been the rightest thing to do, just jumping on my car. Let's radio it in. Assess the situation. And get a request on the warrants. That is a stolen car. A 1989 Honda. No, this is not a 1989 Maroon Honda. Hmm. It's time for backup Code 3. Not to be confused with Code Red. Although it's very close to Code Red. So we patiently wait for some backup, ignoring the nudie uh, posters next to us, and Jack Cobb is here to help. Aha! Jack is ready to help us. So, doing this carefully. I am pulling out my gun this time. Oops! I wasn't supposed to shoot him. I meant to just hold him up. Thank you, Sierra Logic. Thanks for playing Police Quest. <laughs> Sonny Bond, you have failed us again. Alright, let's try this the proper way. Always save your game at every single point and make as many save files as possible. Now walking very carefully forward and hoping he doesn't blow me away. Well, that's not the way to do it. Whoa. 
You got a follow procedure. So we'll try that one more time with Sierra Logic. All right, I'm gonna have to actually double check myself on my uh, procedure here. Get out of the car. Then, yeah. Exit the car with your hand raised. He's taking his time to decide. Well, my car door didn't save me. Oh, I have to shoot myself. Yeah, that makes sense. Arm your gun. Pull it on yourself. And now I can shout. And I say something different this time. I mean, shout. And make sure you talk to him again. And make sure he actually stops this stuff. No blinking way, you bastard. Oh dear. Let's quickly get him cuffed. While wow, still holding my gun. And some pocket change. Dried up stick of gum. And we know what else. A Smith & Wesson 45 automatic. Sonny, Sonny, if you had only known what had happened to you in a past life. Watch your language. This is a kid's video. Kidding. I swore earlier. So I flipped through that a little quickly, but it's basically telling him get in the car. You stupid mother blanket. Alright, I got his piece, and now we can search that vehicle. I don't even need a warrant. Yeah, it's not all needed to radio every single time, but you get flavor text. So let's go ahead and steal his keys. Because that's what we do it in our pops. We steal keys. Also black paint over the VIN number. Of course. Thankfully I don't have to write that down. Although I might write on the ticket anyways. Actually, will not let me write on the ticket. I am surprised. You already did that. So we're going to be taking some stuff here. Hmm, strange. Aha! 
Wait. It's Marvin Hoffman. He is an old man by now, rotting in jail. From Newport, California. Wait, he stole some licenses? Why would he do that? Also, good look. A bunch of stuff. A bunch of evidence. Also, the suspect hot-wired the car. And talking with Jack is much like, uh, talking to Brickwall. Nope, still can't get in the trunk. But he hot-wired the car, we still we have no keys. So, now that we have a little bit of time to look, fixins with vegetable, mm, vegetable tails meet this deadly possum man from outer space. Okay. You learn something new every day. Oh dear. No, seriously! The final chapter, we mean it this time. a bunch of you. So let's get back on the streets since we cannot uh, open that trunk now. Quick recording. While in the car there is a button you need to press to open the trunk. Pixel hunting! Another Sierra. Fallacy. So now that the car popped its trunk, we can see what's inside. Some lovely gold bricks and porn magazines. Yep. Cocaine and marijuana, the good stuff. But nope, we can't touch them yet. And now we can get this guy on drug charges too. So yeah, that's just another uh, number plot flopping in. One screw up and he'll be all over me. I have to be careful. Who knows what his real name is? This guy is bad news. It's like talking to a brick wall. So let's do our proper procedure and put my gun in there. And as much as I'd like to hit this guy with a club, we'll refrain from that until we're inside. I'm quick in my boots. Uh. Let's 
Language, gentlemen. Language. Well, oh no, we're in a game show. He's getting a copy of our home game to play and join his very home. So let's write down some numbers. I got a lot of numbers for this boy. First of all, we are going for a stolen vehicle. And possession of a concealed weapon. Thank you very much. And we also know that he had has a controlled substance, even though we didn't open the uh, back. Oh, I can't get him on that. Uh, actually so i'm gonna lose a few points there and of course your favorite of mine resisting arrest all righty and we're gonna put him in for a controlled substance you remember the number because i don't that's why i have the uh, guide with me doesn't know when to say no. But far more importantly, let's get those lovely bracelets off them. And I'm not sure if he said anything different this time. But, uh, I can look through the video evidence and see. So it's back to the police station. But first, don't forget my gun. It would be a shame if I just left my gun there for it to be uh, gone when I actually need it again. Yes, you also noticed our score is up to 110 out of... 225. So we are halfway through the game. 